back. Um, today we'll talk about CDN. Um, and before I continue, I say I want to say sorry if my voice is not that good because I'm quite ill. I had Corona, so because of that, my voice is, yeah, it's not it's not as good as usual. <coughs> so, so yeah, let's continue. So. Uh, CDN. So a CDN is short for Content Delivery Network, and uh, it's um, a CDN in, uh, is a distributed network for servers, uh, sort of for servers strategically located in various data centers around the world. And the primary purpose of a CDN is to deliver web content such as text, images, videos, scripts, and other files to end user in a faster, more efficient, and more reliable manner. So let's just try to see how this works. So let's assume that we have a client and we have image and the client try to request the image and let's say that it will take 120 milliseconds. Let's and uh, and the way that you try to know the number just uh, just a middle number that i have done but the thing that the the the, the, the this it's it's between the space between the client and the image so basically the space if the if the if the if the, if the image was really far away if the server that this image located in is was really far away the, from the client the time it will be more so if the client is trying to request an image if let's say the client is it's in Munich an image is in Berlin so if the client to try to request the image in Berlin the client in Munich to try to request the image in Berlin it would take 100 and two, uh, and 120 milliseconds however if this client in Munich try to access an image that uh, it's located in also Munich it will take for 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 the client to 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 get it uh, let's say that only 20 on, only 20 milliseconds only 20 milliseconds because it's much it's much closer to the client so this what where the cdn comes from the cdn's actually it's it works to no no to go back ah, sorry the cdn it works like that it works to cache to cache the static content so Basically, the when when the client want the image, it will try to take it from the content delivery network. If the if the CDN is not there, if the CDN doesn't have the image, it will request it and send it back to the client. And also, if we have other clients trying to access this image, they will try to get it directly from the content delivery network. So, the thing that the thing that you try to get directly from the, cont from the content delivery network to make it quite faster to access. So by this way, we are reducing the latency and we improve the performance. So let's say that we have user, a client, uh, um, let's, let's just try to rename everything here. So let's say we have client one and we have client zero and let's delete that. And let's say client client zero is here, and client one is here, and they are connect both with the CDN. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. So let's say the client A and client B, client A and client B. So uh, client A tries to get the image by uh, by using the an image URL, for example, and the URL's domain is provided by the CDN provider, uh, and uh, maybe we have the the URL it will be like HTTPS my website uh, slash png dot com, for example, or uh, slash uh, my image dot com. <coughs> so if the CDN server uh, does not have the image. Let's say the client tried to access this image and, and the CDN doesn't, doesn't have the image. Uh, it doesn't have it in the cache. The CDN server requests the file from the, its origin. 
from its uh, its origin which can be uh, which can be a web server or an online storage like amazon s3 the origin returns the image to the cdn server which includes the optional http header time to uh, time to live ttl which describe how long the image is cached in the cdn <coughs> <coughs> And after that, the user B, let's say that after that user B trying to access the same image, let's try to request it the same. And this time the request, the user, the, the, the image is in on the CDN. So it will be directly, the image will be returned from the cache as long as the time to live has not expired. So as long as the image is a CDN, it will be sent back to the client and all the clients will receive it as well. So it it improved the latency so let's talk about what else we what are the all benefits that we get from um from the uh from the cdn so we have first what we talk about it's reduced the latency So CDN's cache content on servers that are geographically closer to end user, and this this pro, uh, proximity uh, proximity uh, reduces the 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 time it takes for the content to travel over the internet, significantly lowering latency and improving website um, uh, loading time. Also, we have the improved for the performance. So uh, faster loading times lead to uh, a better user experience. Websites can uh, websites and applications served uh, through CDNs are uh, more responsive, uh, uh, resulting in higher user engagement and uh, satisfaction. Uh, we it's great in scalability. So CDNs distribute uh, the load across multiple servers, making it easier to handle highly levels, uh, high high level, uh, high levels of traffic and uh, sudden spikes in demand. This scalability is essential for websites and uh, applications with varying traffic patterns. It's great actually also in 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 security since the CDNs offer secure features like distribute denial of service. Uh, protection but this is out of the out of the scope of this video but just for you to know and much more so basically um uh popular cdns are providing uh, uh, providers we have you you can use like a cloud front or acme cloudfare or fastly and others implementing a cdn typically involves configuring the domain dns settings to to point to the cdn servers and configuring caching uh, and delivery rules so cdns are widely used websites for e-commerce platform media streaming services and any online service that relies on delivering content quickly and reliably to users across the globe across the globe they are an essential component of a modern web uh, web infrastructure helping businesses to provide a seamless online experience to their customers um, we have some considerations when it comes to work with CDNs. So we want to talk about some things. First, we want to talk about um, the first considerations that we talk about. We want to talk about the costs because they tend to cost a lot because CDNs are run by third party providers and you are charged for data transfer in, in and out of the CDN. So catching infrequently. Uh, used assets provides no significant benefits, so you should consider moving them out of the CDN. Also, we want to talk about the setting, um, setting, uh, setting uh, uh, cache expiracy. Expiry. So, uh, so, um, uh, for time sensitive content, setting a cache expiry time is important. Uh, the cache expiry time should neither be too long nor too short. If it's, it is too long, the content might be no longer be fresh. If it's too short, it can cause a repeat loading of content from um, origin servers on the, to the CDN. We have also lastly that we want to talk about the CDN fallback.
So you should consider how your website application uh, copes uh, with a CDN failure. So if there is a temporary CDN outage, clients should be able to uh, detect the problem and request resources from its origin. And uh, we want to talk about like, um, we could talk about also about in, in, in validating files. So you can remove um, a file from CDN before it expires by performing one uh, like in invalidate uh, the CDN object using like APIs provider or we can use versioning if we have an old version of the website um, of the of the of the of the of the actual file if we have an old version we can do that so uh, that's it for today's video and I hope you like my content and I want to say sorry for my uh, for my voice <coughs> For my voice um i guess it will be like maybe like one or two days like that and after that will be good again so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so never miss a video and see you guys in future problem